whether you're stepping into the world of architecture, civil engineering, or design. Today's video might just save you weeks of confusion. Because if you're a beginner wondering which software you should start with, either Revit 2025 or Archicad, you're in the right place. I remember sitting in front of my screen for hours, switching between forums and YouTube videos, trying to make sense of both Revit and Archicad. I wanted to build something real, not just learn another complex tool. And every decision felt like it would shape my career forever. Does that sound familiar? Well, in this video, I'm going to walk you through both tools, not just the features, but what it feels like to actually use them as a beginner. I'll help you make a decision that works for you and not just what's trending. Before we dive into both tools, here's a quick reality check. BIM isn't just a buzzword. It's the operating system of modern construction and design. Building information modeling lets architects, engineers, and contractors work together in real time on a single digital model. It's what helps you spot clashes before concrete is poured. It's what helps you reduce errors, save money, and build smarter. And whether you go with Revit or Archicad, mastering BIM is the difference between getting left behind and leading the future. Let's start with Revit, Autodesk's flagship software for BIM. We'll start with the strengths. Now, Revit has a seamless integration with other Autodesk tools like AutoCAD and Civil 3D. It is also the industry standard used in massive infrastructure projects and architecture firms worldwide. Revit also has a power Powerful parametric modeling and detailed level control, allowing you to modify different structural elements and give them different dimensions and parameters, and also adjust them as you go along the way. There are some challenges for beginners when you're using Revit though. The learning curve is steep. It can feel overwhelming at first, like trying to fly a plane while still reading the manual. Also, you need a solid computer. Revit is powerful and resource hungry, and it can get very demanding on your computer if you're working on a massive project with a lot of detail. It's also a very structured software so it's great for large-scale workflows but not as flexible for creatives that are just starting out. Here's a beginner verdict for Revit. If you're aiming for a career in large firms or multidisciplinary engineering teams, Revit 2025 might be worth the uphill climb. It will be challenging but it will be worth it. Now let's look at Archicad, developed by Graphisoft and known as the designer's BIM tool. The good thing about Archicad is that it has a smoother learning curve with a more intuitive user interface for beginners. The visual modeling in Archicad is front and center and is great for architects and creatives. Archicad also includes BIMX for interactive project presentations. And this is great for showcasing your work to clients. However, it's not all smooth sailing with Archicad. With less integration into Autodesk's ecosystem, this might cause a lot of problems with multidisciplinary teams and the customization and detail parametric control is a bit more limited than in Revit. So as a beginner, if you're starting solo, you love designing with the visual flow or you're aiming to start small to a mid-sized firm, Archicad is a brilliant launchpad for you. So here's a quick summary in a side-by-side -side comparison of Revit and Archicad. Start with the learning curve, Revit we know is steep and slightly more difficult while Archicad is a bit beginner friendly. The career opportunities for Revit is broad and you can go into almost any engineering discipline while for Archicad is a bit strong and leading towards the architecture side of things. The user interface for Revit is technically heavy while the user interface for Archicad is visual and clean. As for integration into the engineering ecosystem, Revit is strong with Autodex like that while Archicad kind of relies on independent tools. Revit is ideal for engineers, BIM managers, and construction firms, while Archicad is ideal for architects, designers, and freelancers. Here's what nobody tells you when you're starting out. You don't need to master both. You just need to start somewhere. You're not just choosing a software, you're choosing a path, a direction. And in this field, direction is everything. Revit is like a highway. It's rigid, fast, and built for scale. Why Archicad is more like a scenic route, flexible, expressive, and visually beautiful. So, Revit or Archicad, start with what aligns with your vision. If you see yourself collaborating on massive structures with engineers and contractors, Revit could be your engine. And if you want to shape beautiful standalone designs and move fast, Archicad might be your canvas. Whichever path you choose, commit to it. Learn deeply, build boldly, and share your journey. Let me know in the comment section which one you're leaning towards and I'll drop some beginner free resources that will help you get started. And if this video helped you see things clearly, don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with a fellow beginner.